So you see me do a lot of Dollar Tree shopping hauls. And I had a lot of plans for everything. Would you like to see what I actually made or redid with all those items I bought from Dollar Tree? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a lot of things I made or redid or refurbished. And I can't wait to show you what I came up with. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And you know I'm 70 years old, and I say it because if I can do these things, you can do them too at any age. I want to thank my subscribers. I love all of you so much and want to wish you a very happy holiday. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You don't want to miss the rest of my Christmas in my jam packed 2022. It's going to be really, really fabulous. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, okay? All right, so I'm going to, just some of the categories I'm going to show you and then we'll get right to it is faux sweets, sleds that I remade, a sleigh I remade. And you know, I took a Dollar Tree book and made a ton of Christmas cheap decor. Well, I've made some other things with those book pages too. And I still have the books left over to make some rustic looking books too. Um, we're going to take a look at just everything I did. And, you know, even if you didn't get around to doing some of these, there's time after Christmas. Let's celebrate the rest of the month and we're going to celebrate Christmas time. And I'm going to be doing tons of crafts the last couple days in December. All right. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you get inspired and remake some of your Dollar Tree stuff you have hanging around. And I'm going to see you in the next Christmas video. Bye. The first thing I wanted to show you is I completed my cardboard round that had the burlap on it. And I glued these little leaves I made from the Dollar Tree book that I stamped and aged. I put a little glitter all around the edges and I made a matching napkin ring. Now, if you want to do this for New Year's, just make your napkin ring the same leaves as these. Let's take a look at what else I did with Dollar Tree items. All right, so here's some of the things I either made or redid or refurbished from Dollar Tree. Now, there's a long list of things I did not finish. I didn't finish my gigantic faux uh, snowflake cookies or my hot chocolate or the bells I was going to redo or some of the houses. So I just want to let you know, the rest of December is going to be all about finishing up Christmas crafts. We didn't have time to do because otherwise they sit in the closet and then next year I buy a bunch of new stuff and then I have even more stuff to get done. So I want to immerse myself and enjoy Christmas the rest of the month. And I hope you join me on that. So let's take a look at what I made here. And I'm going to start in the back. Now, I had a picture of this up on Facebook. But this is one of those sled signs from Dollar Tree that had Santa here. said Merry Christmas. It was all glittery and painted in, I think, blue and red and everything. I took Dollar Tree Paper Studio Paper. Um, this is my favorite wood paper. Look how real that looks. It looks like wood. I don't care how close you get. It looks like wood. I glued a piece this way and across, and then I painted the rungs black. And then I have these half rounds that I kind of glued on to look like it was riveted to the, the, um, metal base. And then I just took a bow and a fabric cluster and some greenery and pine cones and an old rusty bell and just glued it on. And by the way, look at this. It is just put on with a pipe cleaner. So that means I, if I want to do a different color scheme, I can take that bow off and put a whole different bow on. Maybe I want to do candy canes and things like that. So that's a really good tip to keep your stuff more versatile. Now, I also did the little tiny sled here. Now, I have three of these, and I cannot find the rest of them. Do you guys have the same problem? Ugh. Anyway, I distressed it. You know, it was just plain wood. I painted it white and then just put on some dry brushed it with some brown paint i put a little uh ephemera there it says christmas wishes and then i made a little fabric cluster out of literally a scraps of ribbon burlap twine a button and some pit berries and i just think it looks so so cute now 
let's talk about faux sweets. Now, you know I'm coming up with a video. I just did not have time to do all this stuff. And I'm now I think after Christmas, we're more, we're more relaxed and we can take time doing things. But these are not real cinnamon sticks. I looked at how much cinnamon sticks were and I just said, I'm not paying five or six dollars for a small bag. So I took Dollar Tree straws, cut them in half, and then I wrapped them in like um, brown butcher paper. And then I rolled it in cinnamon and I just get the cheap cinnamon. Here's right up here from Dollar Tree. And I only use that for my crafts. By the way, if you like to do uh, primitive looking crafts, cinnamon is the way to make things look rusted and old. So anyway, I have some, some uh, cinnamon sticks there. Then I took a little bag of their gingerbread guys and I just painted them with a very fine paintbrush. And those are gonna go in for my faux sweets, upcoming videos, Christmas is not over for me, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch it out as long as I can. And then of course I made these adorable snowflake um, gingerbread cookies out of white snowflake ornaments with the rhinestone ribbon on them. And now I had these pieces to de decorate it with, but you could also use spackle to do this. And those are the, those red balls or those uh, uh, vase fillers. And then here's two I made uh, from last year. I got these little um, hanging ornaments. I thought they were so cute. Here's the sled. I bought two of them. I only did one. Uh, these are those over the door hangers. Um, and somebody said they would break off real easy. They didn't break off easy. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to finish the back. And I did Jenga blocks. I don't know if you can see underneath. Jingle blocks there and glued them on that. And then it's not attached right now. I figured it would store easy easier if I didn't try to E6000 glue it on. But I just spray painted it black and I just took cream paint and just went over the edges like it was worn and like, um, you know, there was a little bit of snow on it. So I thought that came out really cute. And I finished my tree that's been sitting in my trunk for two years. I have another one too. And I've got some flat trees also that I'm going to be working on before the end of the year. I have to just get everything together and see what I have not worked on yet. And again, you saw the little dressers that I made here um, that are just so, so cute for the Mouse Sisters. They started with this. Look in the toy section. Um, I'm kind of amazed sometimes what I see in there. Big butterfly wings and feather bows if you need them and just some odds and ends that, you know, you might work out with one of your tiered trays or something. And then again, those book pages. So, you know, I have this Joy banner that I made with some pipe cleaners. It's reversible. So this is my theme for January, you guys. It's going to be winter wonderland winter it's going to be stars it's going to be uh woodland animals we're going to have such a great time uh celebrating the winter months of course you can use the paper for tags but i love these little wreaths that i made and those were out of the these were actually from hobby lobby i like their greenery pipe cleaners so much better than dollar tree they're so thick you just cut a little piece glue it together and glue on some things how cute would this be on a package um, by the way, my next video is going to be on last minute uh, wrapping ideas, so you don't want to miss that. All right, I think I finished about everything here. So this is what I've got done so far. And if I don't see you in another video, I just want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Very happy holidays. Um, have wonderful time with your family and friends. And I'm going to keep Christmas going until the end of December. <laughs> so I hope you join me. All right. I hope you love this. I hope you got inspired. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.